random kinetic energy of atoms in a specific body or a substance. It is also energy transferred as a result of the difference in temperature. We decided to do a real-life thermodynamics experiment using a quarter because it's a conductor. We heated the quarter over a Bunsen burner and then placed it in a beaker of water. It changed the temperature of the water and helped us to better understand the concept of heat. Specific heat capacity is the amount of heat per unit mass required to raise the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Now we're going to take a look at some of the numbers that we got from our quarter uh, equation and we're trying to find heat. So that's what Q is, and we're going to be using the equation Q equals MCAT, or MC delta T. And the variables in this equation are pretty simple. M is mass, C is um, the specific heat capacity that we found online, and then the triangle, delta, and T is the change in temperature. So M in our equation is the mass of the quarter, and that was 6 grams. And that was rounded from the scale. And then the delta T is the change in um, from the initial temperature of the water that we placed the quarter in to the temperature after we placed the um, after the quarter and that was three degrees Celsius and that's also rounded and then the specific heat capacity of water we found online and it was rounded up to four So then you're going to plug in all those variables to the equation we had at the beginning, the Q equals MC delta T. And again, the Q is going to be um, the final heat that we're going to find, and that's going to be measured in joules. And when you multiply all those together, you get a final product of 72 joules. Oh my goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. I got a sick reputation for handling.